Hi there, so today we'll be taking a look at some of the items that arrived from China via AliExpress. I originally took this video back in November of 2017, but I didn't really get enough time to do some voiceovers and such. So here we go, six months later, we'll be taking a look at what arrived in the mail. Alright, so first let's look inside this rectangular package, and we'll try to open it up. Alright, so let's open the box up. And we can see that there is a lot of packaging material in there. And first we see some wires and some rectangular thing that's wrapped very well in these bubble wrap. So let's go ahead and look inside this bubble wrap. You can see like a, there's a CD in there. And keep them opening it up, opening it up. And now we can see a l Okay, so first we have a CD. And then if we go a little deeper... We should get to the... oh, there's a little flex cable there. We should be able to get to the main item. As you can see, this is the clutch screen. Right, so let's look at the other items in there. So there's this circuit board and two cables. So we can take the cable with four pins and connect the flex cable to one side of it, like that. And then we can connect the other four pins cable into the circuit board. And from the circuit board, we can connect the white cable over to USB. So this is a USB interface touchscreen. Alright, so this is the next item. It's in a styrofoam box. Let's go ahead and open it up. And inside we have a power supply module. So as you can see this power supply module has a tuning knob and an LCD screen. And this exact model is a DPS 3005 USB. It has an input voltage of 6 to 40 volts, output voltage of up to 32 with the output current of 5 amps and a total power output of 160 watts. Wow. That's pretty cool because... A power supply integrated into a front panel. So it has like a little knob, it has an on-off button, it has switches controls. In the back, we have terminals for in plus and minus, out minus, out plus. And yeah, so basically you put it right into these terminals. Basically use it as a benchtop power supply. Integrate it into one little piece. So I could take a power supply like this one and maybe just snip this part off and just place it into in and outs and get a tiny little power supply. So the EV blog had this featured and I thought it was a pretty cool item so I went ahead and bought it on AliExpress on 11.11 day which is when they do big discounts in China for e-commerce sites and such. So the one I ordered comes with a USB communication adapter and that connects to that little connector down there. And it comes with some instructions. So one side's all in Chinese, but from the middle we see English. It has information about accuracy and such as well, that's good. And yeah, that's pretty cool. It has instructions about the interface. Awesome. And finally, we have this envelope. We'll cut it open with some scissors. And let's open it up and see what's inside. So that's one thing we can take a look at. And the other one is... Again, it's just a LCD controller. This accepts HDMI input. And it outputs to a 50-pin TTL LCD interface. And it comes with a DC input jack, the on-screen display control board, and that's about it. So this is quite a bit smaller than the LCD controller I showed you in the previous video where I was trying to make the Raspberry Pi tablet, which I'll include a link to up there. And if you look over here, it's an RTD2660H. So it's the same chip that we were working with before. Awesome. And finally, We'll be looking at this bag. 
So this actually plugs into the GPIO port of the Raspberry Pi. And it's able to output VGA video directly from the Raspberry Pi. Basically you bring your Pi over here and it plugs in right in there. It would, but the it doesn't quite fit right because there's those standoffs, but it would fit in there and you should be able to get video out directly from the GPIO pins. So with this thing, basically if you have some DPI DTO overlays, you'll be able to just directly configure the Raspberry Pi so that you can use this as the output rather than the HDMI. So this is basically a cheap little part that I found, so I went ahead and got it as well. So that's pretty good, huh? Alright, so that's pretty much what I have for today. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And please be sure to click on that bell notification icon so you know when I upload new videos. Also, if you have any comments, please leave them down in the comments section and I'll try my best to answer them. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.